rainfall over the past few days has brought water levels on Lake Freeman back to normal again after dry weather lowered the water by almost a foot. But a local group is still on a mission to change government regulations that lower the lake. News 18 Samantha Tiki reports why they're ready not to give up. Following the recent rainfall, it's back to business as usual on Lake Freeman. That's after a lack of rain lowered the water 11 inches. Schaefer and Freeman Lakes Environmental Conservation Corporation President Lee Cruel says the threat isn't over. We could still see drought into October and damages to the lake itself uh, from uh, a two-foot drop or more. Up until last weekend, the Oakdale Dam couldn't operate, and boaters were urged to be careful and watch for objects in the water. Northern Indiana Public Service Company spokesperson Larry Graham says Mother Nature came through just in time. We were definitely in a situation where without rain, uh, there was going to continue to be uh, a lowering of the lakes, and so the, the, the rain was timely. Government regulations require NIPSCO to lower the lake in order to protect endangered mussels in the Tippecanoe River. Krull says the rules are extreme and cause damage to the local economy and ecosystem. Fish and wildlife, you are wrong. The uh, idea of keeping constant lake levels is the best solution to helping to save the mussel. Through the work of independent hydrologists, Seflec hopes to present evidence that will prevent NIPSCO's need to lower the lake. Some obviously die, some, some live. But to say that it was the dams that are causing deaths of mussels is really very hard to take. Seflec will present their findings to the Federal Energy and Regulatory Commission for consideration. A date has not been set for that meeting. Samantha Tiki, News 18.